Bowman here from BW1.com and I'm going to give you the video review of the HTC status. Now the written review is done by one of our new contributing editors, Stephanie. You can check the link in the description and check out the full review over there. Let's start off with the hardware tour. First thing you notice here is the 2.6 inch screen. And this by for a small size, it actually is a pretty good screen. Right above that is a VGA camera. You have the earpiece. Right below here is the touch sensitive buttons for home, menu, back, and search. Kind of wish they made these physical buttons and dropped the screen down to make it a little bit bigger. Do have physical buttons for um, send and end, and I would have liked to see them remove that and made these physical buttons to drop that screen down. Don't really see the need for send and end keys these days. And right up below that is your full QWERTY keyboard, and it's a really nice keyboard. As you can see the buttons are raised, and it's sort of this sort of bubble chiclet style, and it's really, really comfortable and a really nice keyboard to use. I'll show you that when we're, when we're, when we're inside the software portion. Right up below that is the Facebook button, because this is the Facebook phone. That's all about sharing instantly. I'll show you how that works, too. And it's a relatively, uh, not the thinnest device out there, but it's, it's pretty in terms of sort of these candy bar style phones with a with a keyboard like this and you can see it has a little bend up like that a little unique kind of bend right there which makes it actually comfortable to type and view at the same time you have your volume marker here micro USB port don't have anything on this side on the top you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button here in the rear you have a very difficult battery door to get off it's not the easiest to, to get off there and that's where you also get your sim card too and right above here is a 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash. There is no HD video recording. Now the 5 megapixel shots are actually good. I would say that they're, on quali they're good quality and they're pretty much Facebook worthy. So you can upload to, uh, to, to Facebook and you're going to get some good quality photos. You can check out some of our test, um, test pictures at our full review. And that's pretty much sort of, sort of the hardware to around the device itself. It does come with an 800 megahertz processor, a pre-installed uh, 2 gigabyte SD card for storage, and it does have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GP, um, GPS. It is only a 3G phone, so you're only going to get 3G data speeds on this particular device. Now, for software, it is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and it's running SenseUI on top of it as well, too. So it's the latest version of SenseUI, so you get some pretty unique features, such as the such as here with at the top where you have the little icon, which you can just drag to go to that specific uh, specific application right away from the lock screen and you can customize those as you want to. Pulling that up opens that opens up to the main screen here and it's a pretty unique screen. Unique main screens. As you can see you still have your seven desktops you can scroll through and go left to right like that. And um do have the little Facebook widget here because it's all really centered around Facebook in itself. You can personalize it to change this around a little bit more if you want to. Thing right here, this is where your so your applications are located, and it has um not the not a whole lot of bloatware on top of it. it has your typical AT and T applications on here, and as your HTC applications you would expect to. And um, what's cool, obviously, it has Facebook, then also has Facebook Chat, which is specific to this particular this particular device. It isn't the same chat that uh, the messenger that Facebook recently released. This is actually a different type of chat, but it works just as well and actually works pretty fast. Only thing is, it doesn't have uh, doesn't re reoccur the history from past chats. So if you haven't talked on here and you've talked on the computer or on Facebook, it's not going to pull that in. But this, this is sort of how the after all looks. Unique look to it. A little bit different than what you normally see on HTC devices, but sort of set up the same exact way. And um, let's take a look here, sort of your instant sharing. So let's say from here I want to update my status. I hit the Facebook button right there. I can post something to my wall, and I'll say. This, I'll do a backspace there. This is a test post while recording the review of the HTC status. So you can see there how good the keyboard is. And make a little couple of arrows there, but you can add a you can add a photo that's in your library. You can open up the camera, take a picture to attach with it, and you just hit post. And now that instantly posts to your Facebook. And there you go. Swiping down here at the top gets the notification section. It's pretty much standard what you would normally see in Android. There isn't any sort type of shortcuts or anything like that. Another cool feature is not only if if you can share your status easily. Let's say we go into the gallery here, and Let's see, it'll bring in your Flickr, your Flickr and your Facebook photos, but let's say we want to take a 
take a camera shot and then we want to of this stream we want to instantly upload it. If you hit the Facebook button, it brings it up and you can upload it to Facebook, you can upload it to your mobile photos or choose choose which um choose which um album you want to upload it with and you can add tags and descriptions right then and there. It's really cool. Internet browser is pretty much just standard Android browser kind of skinned over just a little bit. And um we do have um you know my feet let's go to ESPN Let's go to ESPN.com to probably bring up the mobile version of the page. You don't really have a lot of screen real estate to see a lot of full pages. But we'll open it up here. And you can swipe up and down. You can pinch the zoom, but you don't really have a whole lot of space to pinch the zoom with here on the screen. That's why I wish they made the screen a little bit bigger and knocked this down here. But you kind of get the idea there. And you can also hit that Facebook button, share that particular link so that'll post right to Facebook and you can type, you know, test link link Oop, let me spell it right post from ht and hit post and that instantly will share right to your Facebook now there's two different types of Facebook that you can get the regular Facebook on here but then there's also which that's the regular Facebook there but you can also have the Facebook for HTC, which should be this one here. No, actually, no. Hitting the widget, sorry. Hitting the widget opens that up. And you can see here, you can go through and see people's statuses. You can order it by statuses, all, all statuses, photos, links, you know, have lists, and you can have locations as well, too. Notifications, all those sort of things, right? Right there, all built in with the. Uh, with the actual widget right there and opening with regular Facebook opens the standard Facebook application. Battery life on the HTC status is not the greatest. You're definitely gonna probably be charging in a couple days through. It doesn't, if you're using it pretty heavily or even, even moderately, you're probably gonna do at least one charge moderately and two charges if you're a heavy user on it. It does get pretty warm right here at this portion right here when you start to really use it a whole lot. Also with call quality, I did experience a couple of drop calls and I also was told that um, over time that it, it sounded like the, the audio was coming in and out and I would have to say the same thing was, would happen when I was trying to hear other people. It would sound good at first and the audio quality sort of started going in and out and such. But overall I do like this, this phone. I do like the Facebook phone here, the HTC status. I like the form factor. I like the keyboard very much so. And if you really are a social networking person and you really are in the Facebook then this is probably the phone that you definitely want to get your hands on if you like being on Facebook and updating at all times. I would like to see them sort of in the next version sort of improve the form factor a little bit, give it a bigger screen and maybe even add you know more social networking sites, maybe a Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus button or something like that for instance sharing a one button for all sharing and you can customize it as you want to. But like I said I do like this phone and would recommend it to anybody that is a big social networking person or even a messenger because the keyboard is great for this. If you are a messenger and you don't want a Blackberry and you want to get an Android and you want to have a great keyboard and you want like this form factor, this is one to go with. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also check out our full written review that's written by new contributing editor Stephanie, the link to that and all, all our social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.